what up everybody sorry about the posting situation this morning um just a lot of things going on trying to rush things is never a good idea especially when it comes to this because we want to bring you guys good shows um shows that you can hear and, and enjoy hopefully the music isn't too loud it's all those little things that I, I sort of have to pay attention to um to get a good show out to you guys and uh i'm trying and i'm gonna keep trying Thank you. What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Ninja Report. I'm your host, Pablo. And joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, yet again, we think ahead of what are the possibilities. <laughs> what is correct? What is the right path? And now we are hearing rumors that the director for Secret Wars that they're looking at is one of them being is Mr. Ryan Coogler. Ryan, you said if they were going to ask anyone, he needs to be the first guy they ask. Brian. Do you think they are asking him? And yeah. do you think Ryan Coogler will do it? Yes. Okay. I think this I think this is going to happen. Um, I think no one deserves it more who has been a part of the MCU already. It is clear when you look at Matt Shackman getting the Fantastic Four gig, when you see Destin Cretton getting Kang Dynasty, and Kevin Feige publicly telling you he's not going outside the MCU family for Secret Wars. All signs to me at that point pointed to Ryan Coogler has to say no before anyone else can say yes. It, 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 he's he's the best filmmaker they have in the state, period. Like it, the only film they've had nominated for best picture came from his hands. Um, and it was not an isolated success. You know, Fruitvale Station, Creed. Um, he's been an amazing director from day one. He's mm -hmm. a prodigy. I mean, he's, that's I me. Mean, he's the guy, like, if you're looking for, like, anointing a next Nolan or an next Spielberg is really hard, but he's on the short list. I think if you ask most people in Hollywood who has it, he would be in the top three, top five of everyone's list. So, of course, you have to at least try to get him to do this, even though this is not necessarily the type of film that he's wanted to do, right? It is a little different than Black Panther, which was very personal for him. This blends all sorts of characters, all sorts of projects that he didn't direct or originate, which the root that's part of the Russo's gift was that they were able to take the pieces that everyone else had done and bring those together in a way that really felt natural and really made sense but the skill level's off the charts and to me it's like money better not be an object in this conversation mm -hmm. so and as i said we haven't seen wakanda forever yet we've just seen a trailer which has been amazing but as i said if that is critically acclaimed and the box office you know approaches or exceeds the first which i think is possible i think with the chadwick passing there'll be such an outpouring that if this movie is great I think the audiences have shown, like you look at the, when the movies have hit, No Way Home, Maverick, when the movies hit, people come out and they keep coming out over and over again, if it merits it. So, and Marvel showing, even when they put out kind of shaky stuff, they're good for 800 to 900 million. Yeah. So great product should get them firmly to one, two, one, three, one, four, one, five. That's the case. You got a guy who's given you two films, nearly three billion dollars a global box. Like, like your yeah. goal with Secret Wars is to break Avatar and Endgame's record. That's the goal. I'm not saying you could do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's the goal. Yeah, so you yeah. better put somebody in the seat who you believe can do I that. Get you there, yeah. No brainer to me. And I think like the thing that excites me is if he does take it. His grasp of character, his grasp of emotion has always been so good, right? Like 
look at the way he reinvents Stallone and Creed. Look at the way he defines, you know, the characters in Black Panther, the way Killmonger is a sympathetic character, but a ferocious character. Like, that's what makes me excited because that movie yeah. can be more than just an action spectacle, if you get it right. We still have to see what Wakanda Forever is going to do. Mm -hmm. We have to see yeah. what that is. When I think about the Eternals and hearing some of the wor words describing what this film was before it came out, you know, they're not always right. Yeah, and Chloe Zhao won an Academy Award. Ryan Coogler's only been nominated for it. So, yeah, I mean, I, I get it. But he's at so, least done it in the MCU. That's the, yeah. that's the thing that makes it. And, and I think... You know, you want to add critiques. I think there's people that would say, like, the CGI in Black Panther is not top shelf at point, yeah. right? Like, there's definitely, like, visually, it's not a perfect film. Um, so, and obviously, Secret Wars, you want to be that. But selfishly, part of the reason I really want him to do it is that I do feel like we have a lot of Marvel characters on the board right now who are underachieving, who can be more than we've seen. I think... Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange, Brie Larson as Captain Marvel. You know, even Hemsworth, I would say, probably needs a little reset. Like, these are really talented actors, some very acclaimed actors, that even if Kugler doesn't get to, like, control them and direct them for, an, like, their own movie, I would just love to see what he does with a couple of scenes with them, how he might tweak their presentation or their performance. And maybe he can extract something out of them that we haven't seen before that so selfishly i want that because i know he has that capability yeah. um so that that's that's part of and obviously like then you have like you know you're gonna hand him probably you know a nick fury you're gonna hand him jonathan majors you know for for his like that's all stuff that i want to see because yeah i think yeah. that's what the next version of avengers needs it needs that you're right Right. Um, very tall order, Brian. Very tall order. And I'm pretty sure Coogler, with the amount of money he can make from doing this, he can start doing his own things and stuff that he really has a passion for. Um, but for him, if he were to take this on, um, I don't know if he understands the amount of pressure that he will be under to deliver something as epic as Infinity War, as epic as Endgame was. Um, that's a, is a is a is a very uh, uh, nerve wracking situation to be in when you're sitting down and conjuring up um, all the things that need to be great about this film uh, and, and and really execute it. It's tough. It's tough. I think the biggest hurdle to him doing it is himself. I think, honestly, like, I think for the reasons you said, you know, this is a guy who, you know, they threw a lot of money in him to direct Creed too, and he wouldn't do it. You know, so I, I think if he doesn't feel like this is in his wheelhouse, I don't think he will just take... I, his, he's not just taking the check and showing up. There's no scenario where that guy creatively is going to just be like, all right, they paid me so much money, I have to sit in the director's chair and mess around. There's yeah. no chance of that. So the biggest risk is that he just doesn't feel it, that he's just like, I have a view and a vision and things I want to do in the Wakanda world, and I know how to execute those, and Avengers is just not my thing, and I just don't want to do it. In which case mm -hmm. he'll pass. I could I could see him passing on. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But I, yeah. you know, my instinct is he will. But like I could see a scenario where he's like, I can't solve this. I can't make this what it should be. And you need to find somebody. Else. That's the biggest hurdle, I think. You hope he does take it, though, right? I do. I do. like I said for the reasons I said. I I just want to see him flex with all of these characters at his disposal for the, yeah, for the final. Yeah. 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 Um, 
let's see. Um, we're still far off from that. Um, we still have uh, Wakanda Forever coming out very, very soon. Um, and I expect it to be uh, the same turnout, if not more, if this movie delivers. What was the Rotten Tomatoes score on Black Panther? 97 percent wow that's high it's it, it's the high i believe it's equal to end game is the highest i guess those wow. i think yeah those, those two i believe are the highest rated films marvel has ever produced wow and the cinemas cinema score was an a plus if i remember correctly wow yeah, let's see. Let's see. Um, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of Kugler taking over uh, an Avengers film, Secret Wars. Secret Wars is huge, man. Some of the stuff I read about Secret Wars, things don't end well. And I think this is what Marvel needs. Things not being well. And the heroes having to fight uh, a long fight the long game and not being not ending in one film these little battles these little wins and them taking some losses the secret secret wars is not going to end well for everybody um and it's going to be very interesting to see where we get there how this will end up brian um uh I know we finished our, our conversation regarding D23. I think one of the predictions I made, Ryan, um, that I was hoping to see was a Silver Surfer announcement, um, but we never got that either. So I wonder how far along they are in, in regards to, uh, I think one of those slots will be Silver Surfer, Brian, because it just makes sense to me. Um, we need to see his character. Um, they said they want to go cosmic, so I mean, that's exactly. Yeah, that's out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Brian, any last words? No, you know, like I said, I, I think when I when I when you sent me this, I was like, a, I expected it, but b, I was excited. Just, I mean, possibility. I think the possibility is like you. Yeah, this to me, it's it's of the of the criteria Kevin has outlined. This is the best case outcome. Is Ryan Coogler directing Secret Wars? Yeah, I can't see him doing it though. You think no? You think he? You think he? You think he, I think he, he, he I doesn't think, ultimately do it. I, I think he passes. I think he passes. I don't know. I, I, Maybe it's because of the type of guy he is. Um, more laid back. He's not one of those guys that are out there. This is, a, you know, obviously a passion of his, and and he he may have to, you know, look at the pros and the cons of this, and 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 find out what they want this to be, who the characters I'm dealing with. He has to know a lot and feel confident in order for him to be like. Yeah, let's do this. Um, cause I'm, to, again, to, that, he, to that point, yeah. I don't. I don't think he's directing the third Black Panther movie. I think he's. I think he's done directing. Think he's done after this. That, yes, I think. To me, this was a two-film journey for him, and I think Chadwick's passing made it inevitable that he would complete this journey for him. But I think he views this as his completion. I don't think he needs Black Panther 3 to validate anything else he wanted to do in this world. And I, it's perfect so that because... I do think, I do, he might produce, he might help write, but I don't think he will direct the third one. He will leave this movie in the hands of the next director. Yep. With, I mean, it's, it's out there, so I'm just going to say it with his heir the heir to the throne <laughs> that's the that's the name of the th third film black panther heir to the throne that's dope <laughs> <laughs> anyway um that i think that's that's what's gonna happen and you're right you know if if he would have if he would have still been around he would have done his trilogy with him 
but because it's not, and this is his uh, chance to really properly say goodbye to the character. Um, th you know, he's gonna do it. He's gonna go out on this one on a, on a very, very uh, high note, which we expect it will be very, very high. So yeah, let us know in the comment section below. Again, Cougar, Secret Wars, does he do it? Let us know in the comment section below. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell. It really does help the channel. We've been, our views have been clicking on up. I don't know if it's because of the click. We'll, we'll be back with another She-Hulk episode at some point. <laughs> we'll check in. Word up, because, oh man, I think this is the best content. Thank God for She-Hulk. <laughs> <laughs>